Air pollution in Bangkok worsened over the weekend, seeing Pranakon area the heaviest affected. In all, 46 areas have been deemed unhealthy, and in some areas, residents have been advised to wear masks. The smog situation, which is affecting many cities, including our own, is heightened by a lack of wind. In Bangkok, police are working on the theory that a drug user is in fact a serial killer. The son of a former gangster who himself was murdered years ago, the body of a woman was found in the grounds of a home belonging to Apachai Ongswit. He told police that for whatever reason she'd been locked in a metal box overnight and suffocated back in the summer. Parts from two other bodies have also been discovered during a raid, initially on drug dealing charges. Another Chinese tourist in Thailand has been quarantined after medics noted that she truly has the latest Wuhan coronavirus. She and others are being treated in an isolation ward and once fit they'll be sent home. This year, so far, 21 Chinese have been sent home suspected of carrying the disease and with the influx of Chinese visitors due soon, the concern is that many more will arrive affected. Four Thai teenagers accused of running a call centre scam have been nabbed, a new trick perhaps to be aware of. They call bank customers and advise them that their account has been compromised. Then they ask them to install an application on their telephone. Once the user does that, that gives the scammers access to their accounts. The reminder is out that bank staff never, ever are allowed to ask you for your PIN number. That's any bank here. This crew managed to steal over 1.3 million baht before being caught. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, it's the turn of Walking Street to see unsightly overhead power cables buried. Plans have begun for the digging up of much of the street to bury those power and phone lines and add additional drainage. It's expected to be completed before the next so-called high season and digging is predicted to last three months. That then will be the final part of Beach Road's new drainage system designed to protect the seafront. The saddest of news from the city this weekend as a seven-year-old child whose shanty home is adjacent to the railway tracks followed her father without him knowing to the grass area close to the track where he grew vegetables for the family. She played and wandered there without him knowing until she was mown down by a goods train. The government says that it will ensure that the Eastern Economic Corridor which includes Patia, will have enough water, while asking other sectors to cut water consumption by up to 15%. Patia and surrounding regions have promised plenty of the wet stuff for industry, as water is being diverted from other regions. But savings here are essential as the drought approaches. No word from City Hall as to whether Songkran in the city will be reduced to one day only but many claim that if it were allowed to go ahead as normal, it would be seen as an insult to those in other arid areas where water is scarce. Scum of the Week award nearly went to the Brit who flogged fake watches and more, but instead it goes to an ageing westerner caught on camera stealing a mobile phone from a member of staff in a soy cow barber's. This as they went to get his change. The phone's been returned, but that doesn't make it any better. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 30, dropping down to 25, and a chance of slight showers at any time. That is the local and national news from Fab FM. For videos and, of course, to keep up with Fabulous Patia, visit alwayspatia.com.